Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Collets versus adjustable chucks. This has been a topic that has really sparked a lot of questions in the last couple of weeks. I have no idea why it's just come out of the blue, but I've got emails, comments on videos, contacts on Messenger, on Facebook, everywhere. So I just want to do one video where I can just put this to bed and then I can simply just send this through to everybody. And if you don't know the differences or you want to know some more details about them, stick around and we'll go through as much as I can think of to really cover this topic. So in essence, what do these things do? In both cases, all that's happening is that something here, there's three little jaws, a clamping around a shank or a spindle. We'll focus on the rotary tools and Dremel kind of stuff because that's the small scale we're working with. So in both cases, there's something squeezing around something. Pretty simple, but there are huge differences as well. And that's where the pros and cons come in and you've just got to choose the right one for you. So first up, the grip. The gripping mechanism between these two are actually quite different. So here, let's focus on the chuck first. The chuck is adjustable. If I grab something like this, if you look on the bottom here, all that's happening when you screw this down, so if we're rotating this, there's that thread on the inside and your rotary tool is pushing on that part there. And if you look at the other side, when I push on the bottom, look at that, it closes up and starts pinching. For smaller shanks, you just squeeze it in even further than you do for the larger ones, which just means you're screwing it in further. For an adjustable chuck, mega simple. And basically it's got three jaws between these jaws in the gaps you can't really see it but there are little springs there are little springs in these little gaps here if i push down on one of these you can see i can bring it in and it springs straight back so that's what's forcing it to go along the outer wall now for a collet you can see on its own pretty useless what you've got here is a nut this is a very well worn one but in essence the collet is going inside there and when you're screwing it in you're pushing and look at that, it closes up. Fairly similar, right? But have a look at the structure. So there are four parts to this one and then they've got little slits coming down the side. When you're screwing it in, it is just closing up those little slits and then you go to a maximum size of something like that. Now side by side, you'll notice a bit of a difference. The contact point of this adjustable chuck, and most of them do just have three jaws, is that tiny little piece of the point. On each of those three, that is what's touching your shank. In the case of a collet though, have a look at this. You've got four and you're not touching on a point, you're touching on a curved surface. So you've got to make sure that the size is the correct size. You can't go with this one and shove this in there and just screw it down as tight as you can. It's just not going to fit. It's going to slip around. But if you get the correct size one, something more like this, this goes in, it's already pretty snug, and then you just pinch it shut and it's locked in. Now, what does that mean? Which one is better? In terms of grip, precision, and strength, the collet is better. It's a more snug fit. It's got more contact surface all around the shank, much more even. You can tighten it to the point where it's just really biting in. The brass ones I'm a big fan of because it doesn't damage any of your steel shanks. And instead, over time, this will deform, but not very quickly. This is more preferred in any kind of precision work. So if you're looking at a lot of CNC machines, you'll notice that a lot of them do just have collets that are perfectly sized for their tool if they're doing precise work. And if they're not doing precise work and they're changing tools a lot, you'll see a chuck. The benefit of this is that the wobble is also completely gone. I've made an entire video on it. It's so important when it comes to precision work that this does not wobble around because it's got all of that contact between the collet and the shank you've got no option for it to wobble. Whereas with these little jaws, they can become misaligned, especially because those springs can get old and they can seize up and they can corrode. And what can happen is this can start slipping around. And if you don't clamp it in properly, it'll just have a little bit of a wobble in the top here like this. You've got to turn it off, unscrew it a bit, move this thing around till it sits in the right spot, tighten it back up, and then just wait for it to reach perfect, perfect balance. So in terms of the grip, You've definitely got a win here for the collets. Now, if we go to adaptability, these chucks are adjustable and adjustable, it means it can fit a range of shanks inside. Now with collets, what you've got are kits like this. So this is a five piece kit. 
It's got a bunch of different size collets for different size shanks. They all fit the one Dremel piece with the uh, nut as well. So this one comes with a nut. I haven't broken a nut before, so you can keep using your old one. They just lose their paint over time. So if I want to change between two very common sizes, you can see here, these are the two most common sizes that I use. So this larger one here, this is a 3.2 millimeter or 1 8 inch shank. Whereas here on this Nova point, what you're looking at is a 3 32nd inch or a 2.38 ish millimeter shank. And at times I'm switching backwards and forwards between these, less so now, I typically use this shank for everything. But there was a time when I was using electroplated burrs and they were in this size shank. It's very common. In fact, most rotary tools come with this one mounted on it straight away, this larger shank. If you want to change between these two, every time you want to swap over, you've got to take your nut off your tool and select the right collet. So this one, take it off again, chuck this one in instead, screw it back on. It becomes quite tedious. With the chuck, you eliminate that completely. All you're doing is screwing in less far for one and then further in for the other. You've got all of that play to be able to fit whatever shank you want in there up until its maximum size, which is its fully retracted size just here. Well and truly enough for any kind of shank to fit through. So if you put those head to head, the adjustable chuck does win. Now, lifespan. Like I said, these have that tiny little spring. You can see it just there. It's reflecting the light. That tiny little spring, one, two, three of them between each of the jaws. The jaws, they last pretty much forever because they're stainless. The outer housing lasts pretty much forever. It's got no problems. Those springs are the Achilles heels for these, for these types of chucks. Now you can extend the life by spraying something like a WD-40 or something similar. That'll protect it from getting in contact with water. But eventually, after opening and closing this so many times, that will break, it will die, you'll need to replace it. I buy bags of these things because I do go through them every few months. Now, the collets. I've got a whole kit here, but this is the one that came originally with my tool and I'm still using, it has no problems. I don't use it too much anymore, but this is an absolute workhorse and I used it for a very long time. It is pretty much completely undamaged. It might have been eaten into a little bit over time, but as long as you tighten them up correctly and you're using the right one for the right shank, you've got no problems. You will rarely ever need to replace these. Good to have a kit on hand in case you really need them. But honestly, the ones that come with your tool, they probably will last as long as the tool. They can last a really long time with proper use and no maintenance. One thing to keep in mind though, you can get them in brass, you can get them in stainless, I'm sure you can get them in other materials that are softer or harder. Just be mindful that over tightening and stuff can damage either the collet if it's softer than the shank or the shank itself. and some shanks on some tools, like sintered diamond burrs, you don't want to damage them because you want that sintered diamond tool to last forever. So for me, I'm always tending to go for the softer brass than I am for the steel. I would rather replace this than replace my sintered diamond tools. Now those are the most important things, but you'll also notice the chunkiness. So you've got to fit all those jewels in there, you've got to fit the springs, and it becomes a little bit chunky over time. And on small rotary tools, it uh, it is very noticeable. It's also much heavier and starts pulling down on the end with the tool mounted. Whereas the collets are incredibly thin with just this little cover nut to go over the top to give it that tension. It doesn't weigh down your tool at all. It's very small, it's very nimble. It is a little bit different, especially depending on the grip that you use. You will notice something being much easier to deal with than something huge, chunky and spinning. When you're using a flex shaft, you can also notice that this may slow it down a little bit just because it doesn't fit in all that well and it is a lot heavier. And of course, you are having to spin that at your desired RPM. So another thing to keep in mind. And that's all I can really think of for these two. I feel like I've covered just about anything that should be important with choosing between them. There are fans of both. There seem to be haters of both, which I find pretty funny. They're just two different things that we can choose to use or not. But everyone out there, you should be able to look at your circumstances and choose exactly which one works best for you. There are times when the adjustable chucks are the best. You're changing between sizes all the time. You're not too worried about the precision or you can deal with balancing all your bits until they are sitting nicely. Or maybe you need that max precision and you're using all the same size shank and you can just go with the 
go with the collet and be happy happy with it or you're even happy to swap between them constantly it's really up to you guys i don't think there's a clear winner in either of these grip collets are better adaptability chuck is king lifespan yeah chuck will die but you can always replace it they're not that expensive bulkiness honestly for me it hasn't it was a bit of adjustment at first to go to the chuck but really these days i don't notice any difference between it, any of my tools some of them have collets only some of them have the chucks only i really don't notice when i'm switching between them so not a big deal it just comes down to really precision and the adaptability those are the two factors that will lend you one way or the other. And just pick what's right for you. Hopefully that helps everybody. I'll be sure to send this video to anyone that gets confused. And I encourage you guys to do the same. You don't need to attack people and become a huge fan of Chucks. You don't need to attack people and become a huge fan of Colette's. Just present the two cases and leave it up to them to decide. There's no right or wrong. Just have fun. Pick what's best for you. Even if that means you just like one more than the other. It really doesn't matter as long as we're all having fun, staying safe, and carving up whatever we're carving up. On that note, back to carving. Catch you in the next one.